Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO and man, hold up, man. This boy done up and done it, man. What's going on today, man? Oh, no, man, I don't say God. nothing. PMG in the building. <laughs> Check it out, man. This nigga got... Man, how much... God damn, I can't see nothing <laughs> over there, nigga. I had lit the lights up a little brighter, nigga. You gonna blow my damn eyes out, nigga. PMG in the building, man. Jose uh, Bodega, what it do? Hey, man, I can't call it. Scooter me. Mac, what it do? Shit, what's up, baby? And that boy Low D's in oh, the house. I'm in there, bit, man. You know in there about? like what? In there like swimwear, cause we ain't begin now. You feel man, me? Man, these niggas vets, man. Nah, you know what I'm sure. saying? I, you know, I, th- I can't even make these niggas nervous on the set. They've been on too many sets. Nah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no nerves. No nerves. No, no sir. And butterflies been gone. Man, man. defamation of what? Defamation of character, man. Man, how the hell you got? What, what's going on, man? Man, the streets didn't do me no justice, man. You know, they they go off of what they see instead of what they know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, last time you was here, you I mean, you know, you dropped me a 16. I'll never forget it, man. I, I remember last time you was here, you wrote with me, you told me what restaurants to go out to, but you never did send me nothing back, you know, like a coupon to say, hey, go over there. <laughs> <laughs> I already paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been, man? Look like you done been in the gym, man. What's going on? Ah, oh, man, I had to take a little time to get myself together, man. You know how it be. I'm yeah. gonna try to get myself together. Hell, I'm over here looking like I done ate one of me nigga around this old man. That <laughs> 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 hey, man, nigga eating good. <laughs> yeah, man. So what, what's been going on, like, like with this project right here? What do you expect? I mean, like I said, I'm just giving them Jose. You know what I'm saying? I took time off. You know what I'm saying? I let it, I listened to everybody. I supported everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to see how they would come. You know what I'm saying? And I came back hard all the way live. Wow. On the streets. So, I mean, any, any you got features on this one? Nah, I, ain't, I, I wanted to give them me. You know what I'm saying? I, I put my evil twin on her. I got an evil twin that's coming up in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Youngster, he a, one of the hardest niggas in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to give him, like I said, I wanted to give him that authentic bodega. And this was my defamation of character. Yeah. What's yeah. the youngster name, man? Isn't that Street Classic Deuce? You know what I'm saying? Deuce. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So this youngster right here, what made you put him on there? Because that's a big deal, man, because you could have put them spotlights on that boy. Yeah, man, like I say, shit, you know, we try to shine that light. You know what I'm saying? We're going to shine that light on the people that don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I, I represent the have-nots. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put the light on the people that don't get to get light shed on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, what 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 do you think about the music like right now? And I ask this to all y'all on the panel, man. Like, what do you think about the music right now so far in the Dallas area? Like, um, c- because it's... <laughs> Big X the plug they talk about, you know. Of course, Yellow. That Yellow, I don't even rate him in here because he already been around so long. I hate to say that, but that you know what I'm saying? He he a known artist throughout the world. I'm talking, about the new, the new I'm talking about the new guys. Yeah. Like what are you guys what are you guys seeing that that y'all think I I got to know that this boy is the one, you know, or these boys is the one or such and such over here. And I, I, I do that because I, that way I I be watching them too, to be right, honest. Right, right, right. I mean, I look at it like this, like, it ain't gonna never be shit if we don't support each other. Fast. You know what I'm saying? If we don't support each other, it ain't gonna never be shit. Like, Dallas gotta get behind Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We ain't nothing wrong with showing love everywhere else, but we gotta get behind our own. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where we going off. So that's why people kind of feel like the Dallas scene is falling, but they ain't listening. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It starts with the fans. You know what I'm saying? Not calling it, saying it like that, but it starts with the consumer. No, yeah. I get it. I get it. I think it started with the fan too. What do you think, my boy? Well, you know, it's just, it just right now, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's out there grinding and they got their shit going good, you're going to pop out and you're going to see them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a wide, it's wide open for the taking right now for as far as new artists. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, get in where you fit in and that shit going gonna to happen for you. No, I get it, man. That's real. What's up, Scooter Mac? Shit, what's up, buddy? I mean, when you when you look at where the music is now versus where it used to be and how the game first came up, what do you think, you know, what's the big difference, you know, from, from that old day to this new day? Shit, the old day, shit, niggas, they were doing their thing, but the game just was a little different. They had to grind a little bit harder. But it was hand-to-hand. Yeah. It was now, tangible. Now you got the internet now. I don't know. I think niggas really ain't working like like these new niggas, man. To me, like I think a nigga should have something to give a nigga. 
Yeah. Because I think that causes yeah. a nigga to, you know what I'm saying, lock yeah. in. <laughs> Being real. Like, no, back yeah. in the game, it was more of a tangible market because you had CDs and things of that nature, and you couldn't reach nobody but who you was in front of. You know what I'm saying? If you had to, you had to travel to reach people, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you had to, like, these consumer markets that was right here in front of your surrounding areas. But now with the internet, you worldwide. Everybody can see you at one time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was the difference. But so, so, I agree. So, so you had to be a grinder back yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? If you, you had to be a good salesman. You had to be a grinder. You had to be, have something to give to these folks for free if, if they didn't want to buy your CD. You know what I'm saying? So it was more of like in-your-face type of shit now, then. But now it's like you, know, you just have to have your marketing strategies good on, yeah. on the internet. See, we had, to be, we had to spend money on shit back then. You had to spend... You gotta Man. spend money on shit now too, but you had to buy your CDs, flyers, posters. You know what I'm saying? You had to uh, CD burners. Yeah, all that type of shit. Yeah, the more fake barcodes y'all was doing, nigga. Same I know about you, niggas. I heard about it, nigga. Same, the more fake barcode scanning niggas Same, back in the man. days. Bro. I remember that, bro. God damn, Same. that was niggas that did that. But that we was, was out there, though. Nigga, we was out there, nigga. Same, Same. Same. no facts. <laughs> Same, <laughs> real talk. Same. No, low. Yeah, we was out there. We was out there. Yeah, we had promo vans and. Yeah, for real. I remember I ain't gonna lie. driving I, to Kansas. Yeah, like, yeah. I California. Seen, I seen Grifter. I don't know them stickers. That they, you know, I think it was the Grifter. They had a bunch of stickers and shit too. Everywhere. Yeah, they did they thing, but shit, niggas seen that PMG. Too. Oh, niggas, whoa. Niggas remember, that, niggas yeah. remember that street grind, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we was all in Oak Cliff. All yeah. in North Carolina. Everywhere. everywhere. All, in, all everywhere, man. All out of state. Every corner store. Yeah, yeah, but... 16 to 18 songs, four minute and five minute long, you know. I like y'all new wave, two minutes, get it on out of there, boom, bam. Yeah. That's what y'all yeah, niggas do it. Yeah, back then it was 316s, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Eight ball hooks, 316, four minute, five minute songs. No, I think Thanks. nowadays it kind of just allow motherfuckers to cheat the system, like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't yeah. got to really rap that long, you know what I'm saying? And with, them, with, with motherfuckers not being able to rap that long, they got to make a catchy hook, you know what I'm saying? It it it, it kind of ran away from the lyrical side of the rap game. It did. Yeah. It did. Yeah, man. I had that boy, and I got it. Man, that boy Timo came there the other night. He can think of a lot of stuff. I ain't never heard nobody really just mentally go there like constantly. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, what he got up in that thing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like these niggas, them New York style niggas, or them the Southern niggas that do the the, the battle rap type yeah, stuff. Yeah. That what them niggas do. But then I like there's a different type dude like that bounce uh, or either that or, or that music. Like, did you have a club bang on this one, or do you, you know a strip club bang on this one? I mean, it, I wouldn't. Just, all my music really for the streets. You know okay, and it's for the it's for the people that that's, that's out there. Putting a different type of grind in every day, you know what I'm saying? Giving them something to ride to, but it's so it's so me that you can jam it in the club too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I got a, I got a record on there in particularly for women though. It's called Pat Me Down. I think that's gonna be a hot hot TikTok record. You know what I'm saying for the females? Get them something to dance to. Mm -hmm. you know what it's called what? It's called Pat Me Down. I feel like that chick list. He got one called chick list. You like that one? That's pretty much some shit that you'll play in the club where you can ride to. See, with Bo Dagger, man, he kind of, when he do do club records, it'd it be like shit that you could listen to in the club, but it's not specifically for the club, but it's like it, it can make that shit. You know I like I'm it. Saying? I like it. So you can take it out in the club, don't matter. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. It's something yeah. leaving a dick. Yeah. What, um, so... When you when you when you came out with this, how many visuals do you envision doing on this project? I'm gonna do like six visuals, you know what I'm saying? Probably seven. Just give or take. But I'm gonna it's I'm gonna really shine a light on the songs that's like closer to the end though. I'm a I'm gonna start off with the hot records. Then those last three to four gonna be the ones at the end that, that people might not have got to listen to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What what like outside of like the Dallas area, what area do you like to go to as well? When you you know you got another, I know Dallas is your home market, but where else do you like to just like I'm gonna go down here to such and such, and I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some dust on it over here. Um, like if you like gonna go San Antonio, San Antonio, Austin, 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 you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, Atlanta. I think you know what I'm saying they 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 love my vibe in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying Miami. Yeah, it's that it's that like I say. It's Bodega, you know what I'm saying? It ain't made for one specific area. That's why I call myself Bodega. It's made for everywhere. I, well, I'm tripping off what made these niggas say everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. So do you, do you ever go out like out of town and do the visuals for them, like maybe Vegas uh, or out out to Miami? I I had never shot a video actually out of town, but you know, 
Like we network all over. Yeah, I know. know. Do a lot of networking in LA. You know what I'm saying? They hear my shit and they go crazy. I like, damn. I be that's what I be because I you know I know that's one of my pet peeves. Like these niggas, it's DSLRs and video. You know, uh, all type of uh, Komodo cameras, all type of stuff going on. We know this, man. Like why why is it you think like that? A lot of time people just keep it home. They don't go other places and shoot videos just all the time. Well, it, it, a lot of times it be the finances. You know what I'm saying? People. Yeah, don't but really you niggas ain't broke. Don't come in with I that. Mean, I'm not said, trying to hear that. Talking nigga. About I'm us. talking about you, nigga. You, you supposed to do it. You said yeah. people though. Yeah, yeah but that's I said what you like. Why wouldn't you go out? Because I know you got the resources. Why right. wouldn't you go do it in Cali? Why wouldn't you go do it in in Miami? Why would you go do it in? Uh, uh, let me say something where else? Because you gotta say something about dope down in New Orleans. You're, yeah. you're, like you could do it anywhere. I mean, it don't. It ain't necessarily that I can't do it. I just really be on some, I be moving around though, you know what I'm saying? I'm still doing a lot of different shit every day, so I gotta be where the money is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't stray too far away from the peg check. I just think that you got a lot to offer, and I think for me, for me, now I'm not, I, but I just know that if you hitting these cities and doing these things, it's just other people gonna get traction from seeing you and, and loving that you represent and helping their city. Right. You know that, Lil' Diesel. No, for sure. You know, if you decide to go to Memphis and do one and, and show love to Memphis, that's what I was saying, man. Like, like it's so many other people that look like us that's in these cities that will love us back if we show them love. I, right, I really yeah, believe right. that. But I understand, you know, God, you know, I've been around the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, you know, like, I, yeah, nigga could back back in the day. Nah, young nigga, I wasn't leaving. Nah, hell nah. Lot I ain't care about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it be, we just got a lot of in, in-house resources that's very lucrative here in the city. That okay. That we could use, you know what I'm saying? And it just be easy to knock out a lot of time. But shit, we're going to have that boy anywhere he want to go. If he say he want to shoot here, man, we want to shoot here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just ain't saying Oh, he want to shoot here. And he the reason he want, he, he, not, he not trying to go nowhere else because this, well, you got to drag this nigga out of here. He not leaving nah, like that. No, he ain't got to drag him. <laughs> nah, he ain't going to go nowhere and do it. That nigga Dallas, drag, straight he Dallas. Drag he know all the restaurants, all the owners of this, all the, <laughs> that nigga is uh, it's comfortable, man. Jeez. I mean, you ain't, ain't got to drag me I'm going to do it in front of such and such. <laughs> Nah, for sure. <laughs> Cause they love you. You know what I'm saying? Hard to get away from a place it like is. you go in the hood, like the hood stole the nigga. Like man, that's, that's where I be at. But see, I also want people to know that I ain't one of them motherfuckers that's gonna get on and run away from my place. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna run away. We know that. But, Cause the problem, we got problems out here that need to be fixed. So I ain't that nigga that's gonna. Shop all the way out of town. Nah, that ain't me. Like I love it here. I'm gonna make it. I better. definitely agree. Shit, let's conquer home first. Y'all already conquered home. I mean, like, no, ain't nobody trying, did no. a lot of the stuff that y'all done did. PMG Facts. It done did a lot of stuff Facts. in Dallas. Facts. Yeah, but ain't see, no line of getting around that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I won't take it all. You, you, one, one, I, thing, <laughs> one thing I learned, though. Oh, Scooter Bag said he want everything. Yeah. What we was at, like, we was in uh, L.A. Who was that, that producer that we was talking to? When? With, uh, with Dallas Martin now. Uh, that producer. The one that was, we was, I was playing the music for that one time. What's his name? He from he, where he was from. He, we was in L.A. at Dallas and Martin them studio. It be so many producers come through there, man. He well, make a long story short. He was telling me like, oh, you can being from Texas, like you can go platinum by just having Texas behind you. I already know that for sure. You know what I'm saying. It, if you if you work in Texas like that, you definitely. Uh, I think Lil Flip showed us that too. First yeah, off, yeah, yeah, but Lil Flips also didn't have the internet at the time. Exactly. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying you you can you immediately cross all the state borderlines once you become you know what I'm saying a, a good name. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. nowadays because shit, the internet. You know what I'm saying you're gonna immediately cross state lines. Yeah, once I, you get your traction. I think, like I said, I, I think it's the the, the 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 who produced a lot on this song, on these on these song, um, on this on this project. <clears throat> Monster, I I was fucking with Bud Beats. Okay, you know what I'm saying a lot of Monster tracks, a lot of Bud Beats. Shout out I, Bud Beats, he was over there the other night. Yeah, that's my boy, man. You know we they 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 just keep it funky for me. Like I say, I like it. it it's it be the baseline most of the time for me. You know what I'm saying? I, so I be having to go off that boom, 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 like I because my I'm not necessarily flowing at the same pace as other people because I'm stacking my bars. Okay. Okay. You got some Ziggy on there too, but he got, got most of the Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was just finna say that. And little bro, and that's really he the next. He gonna be hot as anybody if you ask me. Ziggy, he he young. You know what I'm saying? And he he just building up like a house. You know what I'm saying? Brick on brick. 
And in a minute, he gonna be the hottest cat around. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Actually, my one of one of my records that I'm gonna push from the album is from Ziggy. Damn. It's called Checklist. That's real. That's real. And and do you feel like um, you feel like this thing when it hit, you know, you gonna be ready to get out there and you know market oh, yeah, it, I'm push going it. Crazy this time. You know what I'm saying? Really, low don't low ain't gonna have it no other way. <laughs> he ain't gonna have it no other way. That's like, bro. <laughs> That's a problem. Right. How hard is it? How hard is it getting prepared for what you about to face when you got a project dealing with low D's? <laughs> he gonna make sure the boxes be checked, and if they ain't, he gonna send your ass back to the board. That's broke. <laughs> he always been like that. Damn. I mean, you know, but it's all love though. It's yeah. all love. Say, man, if you ain't gonna do this shit right, why do it at all, man? Yeah. I agree. I agree. So. I mean, school back. You say he always been like that. Let's, let's tap into you one time. You know, like like when you guys first started uh, uh, PMG. You know, you guys was how did just give me a rundown of, 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 of what happened. Tell them how this shit started, bro. Man, shit, I had me a spot. That's how it really started. My partner had the studio next door. Okay, I used to go over there to the studio all the time. They were jamming low. I was like, shit, who is that? Like that's low, bro, right there. So I really was a fan at first. So I asked bro, I was like, say, bro, what they doing with y'all, bro? Shh, he was kind of a little shake. I said, shh, come on, shit, I put that bread behind you, baby, let's go. You, so you seen it in him? Yes, went, sir. You didn't mind putting the, putting no, the bread up to try to support anybody. what he had going? Yes, sir. That's love. Facts. So so how was that for you, like, making that, that initial step to say, I'm going to work with Scooter Mac and not that? You, you guys didn't know, did y'all know each other before? No, we didn't know each other. So what did you think when he came at you about that? Well, you know, I was seeing him a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just the first time. It was like, you know what I'm saying, a few times, you know what I'm saying? And then he just come, come back like, God damn, this shit jamming. This shit jamming, bro. What the fuck, you, what are we doing? So shit, I had already had PMG as a model. You know what I'm saying? In my head, and it was going because I couldn't get signed by nobody. I started my own label. Damn. And then shit, that nigga just came by, and we just, you know what I'm saying? Started the shit, and he put the, put the bread up, so we he became co partners with me. So PMG started. What year was that? She bought oh four. Oh four. Oh, four? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Damn. This family, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, for yeah. Real. And PMG, no... what what does it stand for? Give it to me. When we initially started out, it was Profit Money Gooders. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, ever since, you know what I'm saying? I say probably by 2015, 16, we kind of went a little bit more corporate with it and made it Profit Music Group. Yeah. That's, that's dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So, and and so you guys start this this label. You didn't know how to start no label. Well, how did you, 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 you treading in a dark place. See, I'm, I'm interviewing now, Bodega. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm interviewing yeah, him now. You know what I mean? So you're going into a place where you have never been before, right? Yeah. So how do you say, okay, I'm going to do this label? And this was a time when being independent just wasn't that popular. I was looking at, you know, I was, I was looking at labels that was already here, like the Rapper Lots, the Suave Houses. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we had people in the city doing independent things. You had R.I.P. Uh, 24K. You know okay. What I'm he had real to real records. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, uh, my partner from I can't say my partner. He O.G. from the hood said Buster. Had, had got with this guy named Thurman Patterson, and they started Eternal Life Records, which Gator, put out Gator Man's first. Man, album. that's my nigga, man. So, you know, it was just, I, was, I was studying, just studying the people around me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and found out what I need to do, and, you know, shit, me and Scooter got together. We went and got the, the DBAs and the LLCs, and, you know, shit. Just went in from there, you know, like 04, 05. 04, 05, and that's crazy, man. Like, 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 and when he yeah. did it, he come back to you because you the, you the, you the entrepreneur nigga around here. You running things from that angle. You like, okay, nigga, how much you said he? Shit, it went hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all was together, like, listen, yes, sir. we got to get this, we got to get that. You would tell him, hey, we got to get this, or hey. he may come up with something. But did you reach out to any other other label owners just to try to get an understanding, or did you have anybody that you We had a whole bunch of trial and error. That's what I thought. Early on. You know and I'm saying? Like I say, this is the CD era. You know, yeah. this, is not, this is not the streaming era. So you had to, we was dealing with Nielsen Stown scan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know, shit, we was doing a lot of underground projects the way we just selling them hoes out the trunk. Did you did you ever link in with Capital Bomb? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, Capital Bomb, George Lopez. George Lopez, Lopez Diamond D. Yeah. Y'all yeah. were pushing through yeah. them niggas. Y'all knew the channel because you got niggas coming from out of town Same. going to these niggas too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. why everybody circulating. We just, we just didn't wait on that neither, too, though. We went we went in the streets. Of course. Shit, of course. That was, that was, I, was, I treated the shit like a job. 
And we had our, everybody, our young niggas, we, they had them out. We had them out there. So wow. early, early, you had to pay them too, though. Yeah, they, they got to go out there for nothing, nigga. They had their own projects. They got paid out yeah. their own projects. So wow. they pushing their shit. Yeah. They who who, who the hardest nigga to go out there and market for you back in the day? Get that nigga shout out. Big boy. <laughs> yes, Big sir. Boy. Shout out my boy, Big boy. Man, that history, man, PMG, man. But I got to put Young Kobe in there, too, though. Oh, he was bad? Yes, sir. Yeah, Young Kobe was yes, in there, too. He was, he was a bad yes, motherfucker on selling them CDs. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So y'all y'all back during this time, you know, you niggas, y'all come in the game early, nigga. I just had Julia Beverly on here, nigga. Yeah. Y'all mm-hmm. y'all y'all didn't ever get to go to the Ozone or nothing? Or y'all even uh-uh. think of, Y'all didn't even think about those. We did the old, we did the ozone. Go. Yeah, Scooter didn't go. You we went? went hey, yeah, we went, we went to ozone. <laughs> I'm trying we to get some money. Big, we I went. already know what you, you was riding the house. <laughs> we did. It's real easy. <laughs> I was trying to get some Jose money. Jose Bodega, he, that nigga wouldn't leave. <laughs> nigga, See, when a nigga don't leave, I know what time it is. Yeah, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, fast. Say, 09, we drove our van to the BT Awards from Dallas to Cali, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. We stayed in Cali for like a month. We went all, all over the state. We went to the Bay. Did everything, man. We was really, really grinding and putting the shit down for, for, for this PMG flag. Who man. was the first, other than yourself? Who was the other, the next artist that you guys brought on board? We had TRP. That was a group called TRP? Top Rank Profiteers. Okay, Kobe. 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 The one you know. Kobe is his little brother. That's my little brother. Went hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, they were young doing this, bro. So you had Kobe. Snoop. Had Snoop Monstro, which we call a PM Street Mon- PMG Monstro right now. And Yellow Bees. And Yellow Bees. That and Yellow Bees. Yes, what sir. year was that? It was 04. 04. 04. 04. That, that long ago? Yeah. Yellow was like 13. 13. Kobe, Kobe was by like 14. 14. Snoop by 15. 16. 16. 16. 16. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you hear the story when Lucha told it on here that he. Uh, I didn't never heard that story before. That shit that was crazy. That was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, and that was right before we. we you know Y'all tapped saying? into him. Yeah, because yeah. he was like by 12 when his dad yeah. first died. Yeah, yeah, and that's when he say. He was asked to come over there. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, you know, I was like, dang, because he, he broke that down to me. And I just didn't even, I didn't even know he knew him like that. I talked to Lucci. Well, see, we, 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 and it was crazy, too, because I, Lucci was on my first album. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He was on my first and my last album. So, around that time, me and Lucci was dealing with each other, but he probably didn't know Yellow was our, our, our little bro. Yeah. Time, he didn't you know even know. Because he was so young. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he, he was probably, young, I'm too. Pretty, I'm pretty sure he said something to him about it, but he probably just didn't register, but... Yeah, back then I, I seen that I seen that shit in Lucha. I talked to Lucha right after I you seen did. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I didn't even know that shit. That hit went crazy too. Because know, you know, sure. one thing you gotta understand, man, this Ken wasn't on that be, bullshit. That's that that what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't never been yeah. on that bullshit. Never nah, been. Tell her tell school to tell her school how she, Say, what she what Ken I'm was. the only person she would let Yella go with. Mm-hmm. She wouldn't let that nigga go with nobody. No. And I had to bring him back home. Yeah. Safely, and, and she didn't play about it. And he couldn't cuss in his raps back then. He couldn't do none of that. Couldn't yeah, cuss. No, Miss Kim didn't play no games. So man. he started out thirteen years old rapping yes, with y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Man, y'all look, niggas look, built look, a hell of a hell of a little squeaky. Y'all voice. put that work in. <laughs> Big old ass ears. Little squeaky voice, boy. But he, hey, that nigga got something, boy. And nigga, yeah, listen, he man. stood tall on the mic song. even as a young nigga. Even as a young nigga. And we knew he was gonna be, he was always a little flashy little nigga. He used to try to make it seem like he was, <laughs> he was just like, old. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I knew he was gonna be hell. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I had a story that came on here. Gutter TV told a story like that. He said that when he see two chains doing certain things, he know already that when the nigga didn't really have nothing. He made it look so player, like he just had everything. Say, <laughs> so he I say when he see him doing little fly stuff, he yeah. know already it's a whole nother level because yeah. he don't, you know. Yeah. And, and I get it where you saying the nigga always has something going yeah. to where you know, hey, I'm Le- that guy. The yellow man, the PMG stunner. That man. Say that what he that. say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say I knew little bro will always be here though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I knew it. You knew it. Whew, I knew it. He yeah. wasn't trying to hear it. Nah. Nah. And you were cool with it too. You yeah. loved it. Yes, yes sir. You were sitting back like, yeah, nigga, uh, we got us one. Yeah. That's 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 hard. But that's, all of them was like that though. Yeah. You see, just the other young niggas went to jail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, really? Yeah, that was it. How old was them when they went to jail? Shh, man, yeah. they were young. Cutting man. up. Yes, sir. She <laughs> yellow one on one. He he was in the midst, but she he skated by. You feel well, what how I'm did saying? they I mean, did they ever come home or, or Yeah, they yeah, they home? home now. But they just didn't never mess with the music no more. They tapped, they, still, in. they tapped in, but you know, yeah. they, they just got to, you know what I'm saying, come on they with still, it. They still like, mess with it. still drop music. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It, do you, when do do you feel like once, when do you feel like, and I go here with y'all, because y'all, was, I was coming from that history. Yeah. 
when y'all do when do you feel like y'all caught you 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 know what I mean your gear shifted was it because I know what you wasn't way up on that's on me I know I remember Steven one and all them other deals but when do you feel like okay this thing is serious it's, it's taking off in a way that we never knew it probably was like uh, the first light work album. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, it might have been right before that country rap tune. Yep. You can see the shift change yep. in country yep. rap tune. Yellow beat yeah. country rap yes, tune. Yes, sir. And by yes, that, sir. I say probably by like by the time light work came in, you know what I'm saying? It was just so much business coming in to where, you know, me, I just focused on that, and it really kind of, you know, what I'm saying, chilled on my music, but just really was on a on the manager side of it, on the business side. Cause you was rapping against the nigga at first. Against who? Against y'all and all of them. The no, young niggas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was saying, 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 I was Say it ain't no, it ain't no thing where a nigga just going there like, oh yeah, I'm gonna let that nigga make it on say. the song. Am I right? Say, say, man, to a say. certain the competition, man. Yeah. Say, low man, say, man, man, I was Mr. Low a fool, man. Hey, listen to me, man. Yo, you on that night? I was, I was, I was, I was, I was twenty. Go get that oh. audio crack. Okay. Yeah, he hard, hard. Go ahead, bro. The bro just pop, man. I was bro 23 just, years hey. old, man. Oh. These niggas was like 13, 14 years old. Oh, yeah, old. so they looking up so, to you. Yeah, man, I was, I was, I was the niggas that showing them, you know what I'm saying? What the, I, was, I was the sensei at the time. So you were really showing them kind of how Facts. to do in the booth, what yeah. to, how, to, how to make it come off this way? Look, bro, go in there and say that bitch like this. That's facts. And if, that, if, and, and if it was something that was weak, you would tell uh, that ain't uh -huh. it. Say, say, man, nigga, hell yeah. Nah, nah, we don't finish that bitch, but we, you know, nah, we that ain't it. Yeah. Nope, no, nope. hard yeah, on them niggas. It, but it was love, though. I know it was love, Shit, but you got to have now. it. Look at him now. Only not say that is because that's what uh, uh, Boosie said that Pimp C would do to him. Like he always come in like that, nigga. That ain't nothing. That ain't it. Well, I can't say I was like that because when he went hard, I let the niggas know. You yeah, can't, you can't. Well, I think he did. Well, I don't you, think he never these, did. You got to think, man. These young niggas were 13, 14. You got to let them win. Saying? So, nah, it's just when they, did, when they did something good, I had to let them know it was good. But when they did something bad, like, hey. Well, know, I just didn't know. It don't even, but they didn't do too much bad. It wasn't even really bad. It's just like it was a critique. Like, yeah. say, bro, you need to go over here and do this and do that. <laughs> Facts. That, that hell hard, but this part right here, you know what I'm saying? And shit, he'll go back in there and knock it out, take constructive criticism good, and shit, it, it's, it's aces then. Let's get old, let's get old Jose Bodega in here. And uh, how did y'all run into this guy right here? He always been around. Yeah. Bro, been around. That was man, yellow, that, I want to know how y'all ran into the nigga. Yo, that was yellow you partner. Yo. That was yellow partner, man. Yes, sir. Uh, you seen these nigga? You like, I'm going to get in that booth here. Man, man. bro, been around. Yeah, I, what it was was yeah. I wasn't really into the music at first. I, like I said, I, I was always trying to get some money. You know, but I, I always been around. Even when, like, when Yellow used, when, when we were young and he was going out of town. He would be when, there. I was in the car. Always. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah he, always. Would, he would drive a verse here and there, a freestyle here and there. You know, he'd come to the studio here and there, but he wasn't just for real. You know what I'm saying? All the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But but he, he was there. You know what I'm saying? He was always a part of the entourage beginning. You know Damn. what I'm saying? That's heavy. But then, then, like I say, probably about two years ago, he came to me with some music and I was like, Damn, he came to me with this Mr. Big song, remix of uh, the A Ball MJG shit. That's all it took. And I said, nigga, and he killed that bitch bro, too. I'm telling you, that's I said, all it took. Hold on, man. They that, sleeping on both Eagle, bro. I said, ooh, this nigga hurt. Hold on. And he said, <laughs> start sending me more songs. He started sending me more songs. I'm like, bitch, well, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Go on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it came about like that third. But Bodega, Bodega, Bodega been around, bro. You know, How did you feel yeah. about when you sent the music and you got the response? I was just, like I said, it had been, so like like you say, I had always drop a little verse here and there, but I never really took the music serious enough to just do it. Water? Yes, ma'am. You want some water? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma I ain't know you was, you was fasting around this time. Oh, no, I, it's just the liquor. You Nigga know, Muslim. Sweet. <laughs> the liquor. The sugar. <laughs> Quit now nah, he eat the shit out some pork. Bro, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't miss no part of the pee. <laughs> <laughs> in the head. Same, man. I, I'm the only one that don't eat no goddamn pork. For real? Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't miss man. no part of the pig, man. And he go eat and go to sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. 
PMG invasion. Say right PMG Say. takeover, and that's why yes, we sir. did it. Yeah. I, I, I thought about it before y'all got here. To be honest with you, just uh, man, we for sit around kicking. That's what I thought. No, for yeah. sure. you know, I felt like that was something to show love yeah. to the PMG movement because you boys been putting that work in in the Dallas area for a long time, and then y'all hit every other city and y'all do us proud. So I just want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. At the end of the day, you know. Uh, you know, it take a, a serious team to to, yeah. to stick together like that for that many years. Say, man. You know what I'm saying? Family. That's, That's real. Is, bro. I, I go eat Miss Betty's cooking. You yes, hear me? Okay. You know what I'm Family, talking about? They used to come eat Miss Maddie's cooking. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like we come off the road, go straight to, straight to the somebody mama house, and we, you know what I'm saying? It's just how how deep this shit go. And lay down. You from Highland Hills? No, no, nah, nah, he from South Dallas. I'm South from Highland Hills. Hill, South Dallas. Bo Davis Bunton, from Texas. Hill. You from Highland? Okay, you from Double O Seven. Double O Seven. Rose Terry Projects. Yeah. Yes, sir. My little kinfo passed away. Little Jeremy, he was over there as a kid, and uh, crazy man. Like it's just crazy how. South Dallas done changed so much. It ain't yeah. even the same like nah. it used to be. They done tore down our project. I know. Yeah. It's crazy different. I don't really, you know, like they trying to, it look like they trying to edge everybody out that thing. You go over there, the street's blocked, the businesses but can't get no business. they can't move them around. No, they can't, they but they try. Down. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't, it ain't, ain't going nowhere. I was, I was just I was just looking at a documentary on, documentary on Bun Ton Ideal yep. on how it used to be the flood plains. Yep. And, uh, yes, sir. you know, all the people that they moved there was working on Park Row and South South Boulevard, uh, in the mansions for the white folks and they and they put they put uh bun ton they put all the black people in the floodplain, which was Bud Bun Ton and Ideal. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? It's a documentary mm-hmm. and yeah. shit. And they call it Bum Town because once once people black people start moving into like, you know, Park Row and, and South Boulevard, the white folks start bombing <coughs> their houses and shit. So. Wow. It used to flood down there all the time. They had to build the floodgates down there, man. Still yeah. If you go up under the bridge, you'll see the floodgates over there. Yeah, yeah, shout out sure. little Shorty Mac. Shorty Mac used to go rap hard back in the days. Young little bitty shout yeah. nigga. 007, that's where I'm from. He used to hit that old. Lizetti Wayne. Lizetti. <laughs> Them niggas were rapping, uh, man. Yeah. Shout out Lizetti Wayne. Lizetti Wayne. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. So, man, like. Like so, let's get back to your story. Like, like when you when you really when you came in, you knew that he he was cool with, with what you was doing for us on the on the rap thing. Where it's like, damn, you nigga feeling me? I got to turn this whole up so even more. Right, right. So really, what it was, like I said, I, I always could rap. I just couldn't. I didn't never take it serious. Mm-hmm. So once I got with my evil twin, you know what I'm saying? Who I was telling you about that I be putting on. You know what I'm saying on the, on the mic and make sure I get he gonna be on every record I every project I ever drop until he catch a buzz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, he basically caught me up with the times. You know what I'm saying? Like what niggas was doing, how niggas was rapping. See, I I actually before I just started making music, I took like three to four months to prep myself all the way up to doing music, like doing songs. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Cause I really want to make myself one. Like I had, I had to make myself Bodega. Like I didn't want, you know what I'm saying. I used to call myself Bole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like that's what they still call me how it is. Like, but I had to make myself this person. You know what I'm saying. I had to make sure my lyrics was different. You know what I'm saying. I had to make sure I talk different, act different. You know what I'm saying. Still me, but when I'm Jose Bodega, you know what I'm saying. That's the job. You know what I mean. So I, I, like I said, I built, I built that shit. Like music, my, you, I doubt if you'll find somebody that sound like me. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I made it that way. Wow, that's that's heavy. So I mean, you took a lot of time. That's to what made me really just take a liking into it because it was some shit that I ain't heard. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, nigga, I heard you rap before. I used to hear your verses and shit, but nigga, this shit different. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. As I, as I as I he kept on sending me more songs, I was like, man, okay, cool. We need to go on here, push the button on this bitch. You need to go ahead and get your album out. Wow, that's heavy, and that's where Mr. Bodega came in at. Wow, bro used to tell me on the road all the time, check your stuff out. Man, yeah, yeah. So y'all already, you already, you you watching everybody say, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm gonna land this hole in a minute. Nah, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. I'm gonna land this hole in a minute. Yeah. I gotta ask you something. You was. You was with Yella this weekend when y'all, that the football thing? No, I wasn't because my mama and Yella got the same birthday. You told me that. And my mama passed 2012, so we always do something for her. Okay. Go to the grave site and, uh, you know what I'm saying, the whole family be there. And, you know, we just, it just be like, that be always a little, a little conflict of interest because, 
yelling my mom's birthday on the same day, so me just going to go kick it with him all the time. I can't no, really do it. No, it's understandable, bro. My yeah. mom, my mom's coming up on the fourth. Yeah, and it's always something when you when you, when you lost your mom. I lost my mom in '96. Yeah, so it's always a that day right there is something else for me. You know, well, what I, I'm I set it up for them boys to get out there and you know, it was book, it was dope. Book, I book, loved it. I just yeah. seen a book little bit tickets. of it. Shout out to Mac Main too. Mac Main. Yeah. Come through on some real shit. He did? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I put it together for that boy to get out there and, and do that it shit. It was man. live. And Dion embraced him. Oh, yeah, I seen it. I seen yeah. it, man. That was live. And that's that's the kind of look that when, when I see stuff like that, that's the next level. So yeah. there's a lot, of, a lot of people talking that talk but ain't doing the stuff that's being done on that level. Yeah. And I, I, and, and I always recognize that on this show. You know what I'm saying? And I always check anything at the door. When it come down to, you know what I'm saying, yeah. the movement and what's really going down. Yeah. And I think that's something that we got to have. We got to have a true scale on this is real right here, yeah. and this is right here, and this is right here. So that we'll know Dion where we're going. Yeah. Dion Sam. Yeah, man, because he, he, he always put on for the D. He ain't even from here, but he make, this is home too, man. No, you know? he show love. Yeah, he show love. I know he's from Fort, Mar Fort yeah. Myers, Florida, but... Mm -hmm. He, he treat Dallas like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he always put on for the shit that's going on here, man. So salute to Prime. Salute to Coach Prime. He's doing some yeah, great Coach things. Coach Prime doing crazy great things. Great things at Jackson State, bro. Man. Real talk. Oh, yeah. That nigga had, I think the nigga had some couches out there on the field. I'm salute. not sure. Salute you know what I'm saying? Shit, <laughs> yeah. You know, like the layout couch, the, the little movie couch. Like, huh? I said, he definitely shining that light on Shoot for Sanders doing his thing, too, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do y'all think so? So y'all y'all think they gon they gonna take it this year? They they doing yeah, pretty I sure good. I hope so, man. He sure got the he got he got he got, the, he got the buzz. It's going down. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one coach tried to push that nigga down the other week. Pride was trying to hear that. I like, seen yeah, that nigga sure. Dion. I said, like, I ain't gonna lie. I thought about when he had to fight at Atlanta <laughs> when the nigga pushed him. You remember when he fighting that nigga? Who was he fighting over that? That right? Who was that rising? The rising when they were going up. back and forth. Blah, blah, blah. I said, that nigga, man, that nigga better not push that nigga too hard. You must didn't see that tape, nigga. Say, <laughs> say, say, say he it's about respect. I've seen it. No, it's about real. respect. Yeah, he shouldn't. Well, on, that, was, that wasn't uh, the way to handle that. that. You because, but you got to realize, like, Brian ain't no regular coach, no. okay? When he out there, you know, when we, when Yellow was saying, he dancing and yeah. he, you know, coaches it, really don't have that time, swag baby. like that. It's you know, prime like, time, baby. It's Dion, man. It's it's prime Dion time. Said, Come give on, me man. my theme music. Say, man, quit playing. And then go in. You know? <laughs> Come on, man. That nigga, wow, man! I love it though. He done brought some good energy to that to that team, yeah, man. Yeah. And they want to play for that boy, man. They want to yeah, play for Dion. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to come there too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he done brought energy to the whole the whole whole program. swag. Yeah, yeah. He, who is swag? And all that. Yeah, he, who is swag? <laughs> HBCUs. Yes, sir. He did, yeah. he did that, didn't he? He's shining that light on HBCUs that no, they sure. that they didn't really get it for. You know what I'm saying? And it take a person like that to do that. And yeah, it's real, yeah. bro. It's real, man. Coming from Dion, we salute you from all, all the way from the city, man. Keep doing your thing, Dion. Man, Dion. Hey, man. It's love over here on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. You mess with my boy Jock Taylor, who comes here frequently. Uh, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jock Taylor gonna come see Boss Talk. We gave him an award here. Uh, he go. He, he. That's who go deal with. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jock Taylor, man, and the drunk folks to the left of me, you know. Say, <laughs> say, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> man, hey, man, you know, the, the, this nigga crazy, man. So how you like it on Boss Talk? This your first time. I'm enjoying it. Chilling. Like I'm just talking to my brother. That's the way it be. Niggas be like, man, that's why I be hey. laughing when he say, you cut me off. Yeah, nigga. Talk it's like we at the house or under the yeah. tree. You nah, know what I'm saying? Bro, I remember Let a nigga talk. You remember last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, I remember being just, under that tree a lot. See? Bro. I see. never got to talk, though. They never let me talk because I wasn't old enough to talk. <laughs> but I could just sit there and listen, though. You know, I love it. You know how we can get on the boat. Yeah. The same thing. The same thing. It's the same thing. No, for sure. So that's what you makes had fun the show. Day too, man. Yeah, I man. love to thank you yeah, again. Man. You brought me on there, man, and yeah, man. I kicked it. I got to meet everybody. Yeah. But this nigga was the hardest one on the damn ship. Nigga. It was the Gemini <laughs> badge. <laughs> say both. It was the Gemini badge, man. Say, I just man, I always been in the background, bro. But I found you, didn't I? Yeah, you found me. I went, yeah, once you introduced me, say this, oh, this such and such, and I, oh, he had that glow in his eyes. I said, oh, this yeah. the nigga, I'm going to meddle all night. Yeah. So, <laughs> say, with me, it's always been about my bros. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. ain't just look at me like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. leading my bros. Yeah. Now, to this day, I still believe in my bros. 
How proud are you of the movement and, and what you were a part very of starting? Very proud. Very. Very. Wow. That's heavy, man. Because I didn't really know how far back it went. I'm glad that I'm getting to share this history with y'all. Yeah, this shit, this shit 20, down to 20 years old, man. And, and let's be real. Let's be, let's, let's, let's be real. Y'all ain't never just broke out and talked about this like this no other time. Huh? No, nah, this is the first time. That's what I'm talking about, niggas. Nigga, I'm soldier boy, little cousin in this whole nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm nigga, saying. this young nigga, I did it first, nigga. PMG history going down right here on Boss Talk. What you, you what the boss is talking You're most definitely the big cousin, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I just, I, I just love the fact of, of, of sharing the history with everybody of what, how, how this whole thing came yeah. to be because a lot of people be wanting to hear this stuff, oh, for sure. and oh, for they sure. don't know, you know what I'm saying? And that's where, and people be, and I hate to say it like this, but a lot of times people be like, man, really Dallas ain't got this, ain't this. yeah, they do, but y'all yeah. don't identify with it. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of stuff go on here. But the foundation and everything is not recognized a lot of time the way it should be. Well, and they go all the way back to Bobo and them. I tell Bobo this all the time. The reason why, bro, with us, bro, is because we just work, bro. We don't get on here and, you know what I'm saying, and get on the internet, brother, and just really come out and try to, you know what I'm saying, you know, be on all that internet shit, bro. We really just work and do our thing and let the work speak for itself. Man. You go by the old law. Yeah, man, for sure. That's the old law. See, the old law nigga really didn't, didn't, huh? We ain't finna sit up and say, you know, sometimes the internet creates its own narrative, and yeah. some niggas feel like it's of them to get on there and correct these people, but shit, man, shit, we we, we just let the work speak for itself. Sticks man. and stones, man. <laughs> but but stones. the old law is different like, than the new law. You yeah, know that, don't is. you? People yeah. in the old law, like, it's a different respect factor, the way they move. I, I would say Jay Prince go by the old law. Most yeah. definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... It's like when you go by the old law, you don't do things like everybody else. Yeah. It's going to be a distinct difference, but then when when people see you, they're going to respect you. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to be like, that's them boy. They know already it goes without saying because of the work that well, you're talking about. I hear a lot of shit on the internet, but when they see me, man, I don't hear that shit. So it's Not like... You got respect in the city and in the hood and in, in different cities. That's the whole well, game. What's the key word you keep saying? Respect. Though? That's what it's about. Yeah. I'm, and I'm going to respect, respect everybody that respect me. I never seen you, no flaw, you know, as far as the way you carry yourself and the way you help deal with the people around you. And when I call you and ask you whatever, you always been open up front with me. Yeah. That's why, I, I mean, I, I be kicking it, man. I'm, yeah. I'm a grown-ass man. Yeah, be no, <laughs> so I be kicking it with the people like, yeah, okay, I'm, we... I'm a grown-ass man too, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I, ain't, I I mean when I kick it with my people, like I be like, okay, I'm gonna show, and I say my people, the culture is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm being real, but y'all gonna respect what's going on. Yeah. This whole grind is serious as hell. Oh, it sure. ain't easy. Y'all niggas didn't just talked about thirteen, nigga. Thirteen, uh, how, nigga. You you gotta understand, it's twenty years, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We talking about a couple of decades, man. This ain't nothing Fast. to play with, bro. And we all still close. All of us, man. All of us. No, for I, sure. I can pick up my phone right now, Kyle Yellow. He go pick up. <laughs> yeah, we, Facts. we talk a lot of shit. But people that don't know us, they'll think we bumming heads. Nah. <laughs> really? We talk nah. shit to each other. That's just how I we rock I guess I'm rocking. so untapped because I never have heard no craziness when it come to y'all, bro. Yeah, because it, it ain't going to never you be You know what I'm like saying? That. Like, we, it's been we, straight... We gonna, talk, we gonna talk shit amongst each other like nobody yeah. else. Even if we have a disagreement, it won't be in front of nobody. You know okay. what I'm saying? We just don't roll like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause yeah. You, you guys, man, like I said, when it come down to everything that you guys stood on and stand on, I, like I said, I, I seen the music. Yeah. I, I know I seen, uh, of course you seen Yellow. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He was like out here on the forefront. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Like you were, and that came on, when that ass on me thing took off like it did. It made everybody look this way. Yeah. Say, man, I called little bro for the long and big and for that song. You, you, you don't put it out. So I'm like, bro, put we, that old out, bro, bro. <laughs> we, <laughs> put that old out, Cause, man. Because he, he was doing shows for Trapping Designer, and he had recorded the song, and we went to Midland, I believe. I, matter of fact, I think I didn't go that time. My boy Squeaky Mac helped, took him down there that time for me. Shout out to my boy Squeaky Mac, Maurice mm -hmm. Mac. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So he took him down there, and uh, that's what uh, 
That's that's when he had made the song and he tried to test the bitch out on the crowd and they just started singing it word for I mean, not word for word but like it was so it was so easy to catch on to. They caught that hoe. You know, like that's when we knew it was time to put it out. Wow, that's crazy. And you, what you said? Damn, I told that nigga it's time to go with that. Oh, hey, I used to call and get on bro nerves about that song. Wait, oh, what you tell me? I begged him, see me that song, see me that song, bro. Yeah. That whole was going. Say, when I heard it, I know it. Shh, he knew it was it. He told you. Yeah, yeah, he told me. He said, that's he, said, it. He, said he said, say, bro, that bitch there, bro. That's it right there. You need to go ahead and put say, that on out. That's it. And that yeah, went straight from there. That that's that that woke a lot of niggas up. Man, they gotta respect Lil Bro. They gotta respect Lil Bro. I don't do you feel like he's respected on nope. that level? Nope. You don't think so? Nah. But uh, who I, 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 I'm gonna I'm be I, real I, with you. I, I'm, I'm I don't agree too. with that the because the music scene respects him. It just bullshit. Like people you know how they hate on yellow niggas. That's really what it be. <laughs> Say Hey, I'm gonna tell you what it is, bro. If the nigga done had bro, the, Every time he do something, bro, he's like, damn, okay, when he gonna, that's gonna be the last one. Okay, I know after this one. Yeah. And then he always come back with another yeah. one. And another one. And it's yeah. just like, man, this yellow nigga won't go nowhere. Say, I don't be seeing, I be seeing it like the nigga already solidified. And the most definitely, oh, definitely. Most definitely I think, solidified. I think it don't, and I don't think about yeah. like when you hear about people like, man, he, I don't care, a nigga. Like, I know this nigga ready, so I don't have to. It's so many people. When you can leave, Wherever you go, he know. First of all, he handled himself. And when I was around yes, him in the, in, the, in, a, in the way you're supposed to, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Have. So that's the whole game with him. So at the end of the day, as long as he doing that, a lot of niggas ain't gonna be able to get up to you. It was something that I think it was Chief said on here, where yeah, no, it wasn't Chief. It was it was Show Show nickname Show. Y'all might not know Show. You might know Show. I remember Show. Yeah. Show was on his show. Was talking about the fact of he went to holler at Chief. Yeah. And when he went to holler at him, he didn't really show him the love he res- he felt he deserved. But then he thought about it when he got older and said, man, nigga didn't know me, man. I'm running up on this nigga. He got a jeer on. He doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what I'm trying to get close to him for. Yeah. This is a lot of time what be the scenario, too. But yeah. see, what am I, am I though, right, though? Yeah. I feel like it's, it's more so how you carry yourself. Like you and a motherfucker never feel like you disrespected them if you handle everybody the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, handle a motherfucker. Like, my granny always told me, like, it don't matter who it is. You look a man in the eye and you respect him until they give you a reason not to. That's real. So it's principle. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that. The only thing I was saying in that is the fact that you got to be careful who you let in your circle. Yeah, you do. That's what I was, you know what I mean? Right, right. Because you could let the wrong person in your circle if you're not prayed up. I'm a praying man. So it's always like, who am I? Like, I, I deal with a lot of people, man. So it's like, who am I really uh, like picking this phone up calling like this? You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And and that's the cold part because then you got to pray on stuff like that. Like, what is this? Per- what is the person's purpose for even want to be in my circle? Yeah, I'm a known solidified artist is what I'm saying. Right. Hard person. Yeah. Even when you was hustling in the streets. Now, yeah. I know about that part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you Back. not going to let no everybody you come up to you, you and be trying to hang with you and trying to. Oh, you yeah, don't trust that, nothing. You can't. No. Circles don't open anyway. Especially so, if you get at that money. That being, it's real. Circles don't open. <laughs> especially if you get no at way. that cash. <laughs> <laughs> especially when you get at that cash. Yeah, I, I ain't that no cash. <laughs> Who the fuck is that nigga? <laughs> right? <laughs> so like, how you get in there? You remember on Nino Brown when uh, Ice-T came strolling through on the, at the basketball court? Yeah. Nah, hey, who real. is that nigga, man? Nah, for real. <laughs> like, right? Yes, sir. Nigga can stand next to the circle, but he ain't going to be in that motherfucker. That's real. That's why we like family. That's real. We not friendly like that at all. No. Everybody that we fuck with, we we not saying we don't fuck with other motherfuckers, but everybody that's in the circle, been in the circle. You but, shit grass but, man. But what do you think about when people say y'all not affording people opportunities because y'all been holding it down so long and y'all pretty much, maybe y'all part of the problem? Because nah, y'all ain't letting other little niggas come up because y'all already shit. solidified. She holla at PMG. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't necessarily. But you understand what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't necessarily. We, we say do that. fuck with other young niggas. Nah, no, for real. Like yeah. if a nigga trying to get on, yeah, he gotta yeah. try to get at you. But he gotta be serious though, bro. 
You gotta be serious. He gonna look at y'all and get intimidated. Them niggas like, ain't nobody else been with them for thirty years. Nah, man. Nah, it ain't nah, like that. It ain't like that. Ain't like like that. on a biz, we talking about on a family. Shout standpoint. out GMB Mac, man. That's a new yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, Mac. Mac he pretty. He, he knew. He, he kind of new to the whole situation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hey, shout yeah. that boy out. Yeah, yeah that's my real. Eyes. Mars yeah, so. too, yeah, Mars, Mars too. Mars too. So yeah, yeah. how would how did you link with those guys? I'm just trying to feel figure, feel the process for a young nigga because these young niggas be calling me trying to ask me how to you know can I get in the game or how my music sounds. Young nigga and popping in the streets, popping in the streets. Yeah, taking yeah, over his check, school, check his high school and stuff the like that. The background come back straight. Nigga fucking with the nigga, man. Yeah, nah, most definitely. Well, they do that part. I'm just rapping. <laughs> But we ain't they, with the problem. We they, don't want to deal with all the problems. They, they the do extra the problems. Shit, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, y'all niggas gonna be on fire though. <laughs> <thing. laughs> but we don't want to deal with the extra problems. And then, though. too, man, you know, it's all about your report card, man. Your report yep. card got to be up to par, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people approach you, they don't be passing out of classes. Okay. Yeah. I just, man, like I said, man, uh, I, when I look at y'all and I look at. Uh, yeah, that nigga, that nigga can't handle no more. Okay. Cut off time. Same Cut that man. nigga off. Cut that nigga off. I just do a little sip, and I ain't a, yeah. I'm really not a drink. Call that boy a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you can't smoke in here, nigga. Hey, you so, <laughs> so, you know, I think, like I said, man, for you guys to have been, that, that's so dope. You know what I'm saying? The PMG them been together all those years, bro. Yeah. And that takes some real stomp down cats to even hold it together that long. You know what I'm saying? And for niggas to even stay interested that long. You know how I many niggas in their ear say, man, leave a nigga alone. That nigga, that nigga should have paid you more than that. See. No, that, see. that nigga, that nigga bag, well, you know damn well. Nigga, you'd have been over here with us, man. You see her, man, little baby and them. That, and this is going on. But it started with the foundation, though, bro. It started with the foundation. Well, you got two solid cat messing with each other to get it out the mud. What you expect? Yeah, that's real. And to respect. That's, that's, that's to be respected. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Now, I just appreciate you guys for the drive and motivation to keep yes, everything going. So let's talk about this bodega one time. I want to hear about because we're gonna we about to end this whole in a little bit. But tell me about okay, when is this when is this project gonna drop? You got a tease out there, son? Tomorrow. Yeah, it's actually dropping tomorrow and tonight what, at twelve. At twelve. Yeah. And that whole gonna go in. It's going crazy. What, what's the uh, what what video is out gonna be? Is it got a video launching already on it? No, nah, the, the video gonna be dropping soon. Okay. I, um. Like I said, I I got behind on a little certain shit trying to get that get the project done. Yeah, you know yeah. Man? And I I take the blame for that. We got a guy flying in from New York. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Spike Tarantino. Okay, he's coming out here to shoot it. Okay, shoot a couple of videos for me from New York. You know what I'm saying? I had like say reaching out to new people. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He came out here to fuck with me. He'll be here tomorrow too. So actually, the day that the album drop, I'm gonna be working. That's good. That's good. I, I'm ready to see that visual. Yeah. You know me. I'm totally waiting on the visual. Yeah, nah, for sure. I'm tripping over here, like man. I want to see that nigga gonna paint this picture. It's coming soon. After. Yeah, coming there. I'm gonna I'm jam it though. I'm gonna jam it. You gotta link me in. Don't don't. Well, see, that's the thing. The lyrics will paint the picture for you. No, I get it, man. But it a ain't nothing like picture. seeing my nigga Jose Bodega going in like. Say y'all gotta tune in, bro. Though. I guarantee yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Bro, I guarantee song, you, man. you won't want to skip not one song. So how do you how do you know what's gonna come out? You already heard it. What? I got it in my phone. <laughs> they sent you. Man, you wanted the ears. Man, quit playing, <laughs> man. That nigga wanted the ears. Say, big bro, yeah, yeah, nigga. Big bro, man. Yeah, he definitely gonna. They gonna send it to you. Yeah. So I ain't gonna even lie. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'll be a part of the project, but this nigga yell ain't gonna put it in that without sliding the past school to back, and that's all the shit. To this day, heard everything. From. To this day. Anything any of them put out, they gon' they they respect your Yo, ear. Yes, sir. Yeah, we gonna all come to the studio. We gonna listen. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Family, we gonna we gonna, we gonna we gonna go through all the songs. No, nah, I don't think that bitch should be after that one. No, nah. no, <coughs> it should make the album, but it should, I mean, it should make the album, but it shouldn't it shouldn't it shouldn't uh, be right after that song type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga school to us and uh, everybody just being in it as a whole. Just you know what I'm saying to pick the projects out. That's heavy. That's heavy, man. Come on, man. Then we present it to the label. I like yeah. that. It man. don't get no deeper than that, man. Yeah. No, it don't. It don't. I, I, like I said, I, I definitely know the process was heavy before even this interview yeah. because of the way it landed. Yeah, you can't land nothing if it ain't. If it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Got to be something going on. Nah, for sure. Niggas, niggas, you know the niggas just throwing stuff out there. You can tell. 
it feel like they just threw it out there. They just got to put some respect on my bro name, though. Why do you keep saying that? Because they do. Are you talking about Dallas? Yellow B, they got to put some respect on I say you talking about Dallas because you and I both know yep. when that nigga hit these cities, these yep. people going crazy, bro. Yep. Am I right? Yeah, yeah you right. So I don't one look at best. it that way. One of the best to come about the city, man. And he all, it's known. Shh. I don't know why. I, you tripping? Because I nah, don't I think so. I ain't tripping. I he just but real say, hard, think, hard nah, about it. Ain't say, he? I take that personal though, bro. But I don't understand what's. Per- I'm a. I, I'm a. I'm a friend. I'm a fan, nigga. So I'm. I'm looking at it like, how do you see it? Maybe this you see something go through, I don't this see. This nigga go through and read all the comments. Yes, so sir. We, see, we hear what the. Yes, sir. Read all the comments. Man, I'm going down now. Down through there. That's why he, a nigga don't do that. You read all the good I don't read the shit. Hey, that's Ray, right. Ray, Ray, hold on. Ozen, don't See, hold do on. that. Been with me since 13. So you take it personal? Yes, I do. Everything? Yeah. I take it personal by low. Bodega. Yes, I do. Personal? That's just me. No, I get it. Not nothing against nobody else. That's just me. No, I feel you tapped yeah. in. It's love. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you read every comment. My bro going through, I'm going through. Yeah. It's like that. Wow, yeah. that's heavy, man. But that's love. That's family. That's family. Uh, you, I can't afford for you to be looking at all the comments doing that. Neither uh, you. I, I, I had to stop. I stopped that shit a couple years ago. Cause you I mean, I've never been one to read the comment. I've never really been in. Like I said, I, I, I be in tune to the social media, but motherfuckers gonna say something to me. They gonna have to come to me and say it. Yeah, I see I'm this shit. outside every day. But it don't move me, though. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah, this shit, but it don't move me. I think the most important thing is to stay focused on the prize, man. Yeah, well, shit, man. You know what I mean, we, niggas? You know, niggas we trying to get more prizes because we can got some prizes. We just I, know, yeah. I know already, you know, it, it definitely a lot of time that, that hate going to pop up in your face. It, it do it to me. Yeah, yeah that, that, I just actually, be focused, what, man. Yeah. <laughs> I be like, nigga, what? Oh, he said what? Let me get this right here. <laughs> 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 Say, nah, little bro, just make real music, man. I love his music. Yeah. I'm a fan, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I ain't going to stunt with all the defamation of character going out there. You know what I'm saying? That kind of slowed my career down a little bit in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because of the way people was doing Viewed me. Yeah. So that's that's why I pressed so hard for this the, the name of this album. You know what I'm saying? Because... Like, y- y'all looking at this, but this really what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? Like I say, that's why I say people, they pay attention to the wrong thing. But I felt that way when you interviewed last time. I felt like you still was, at that point, trying to be like, my character is this, but these niggas saying this or feeling this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt that the first project when you was here before, right. to be honest right. with you. But I still respected the, the project when it came out, and I knew... Where you were going with it, and yeah. after meeting you that day, the way you you know you talked to me and my wife and your grandma and all this different stuff that you was talking about, right. it humanized you for me. Right, right. right. You understand what I'm right. saying? That, nah, that's where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? And I I don't forget. Right. You know nah, what I'm saying? Sure. I don't forget nothing. I be I go back and chill. You don't know what I'm doing. I might be like, damn, like, you know that nigga right there. Yeah, this, I, that's how I am. Yeah, because I'm the same nigga. A exactly. hundred dollars a million dollars. I I'm like still that. that same nigga. Like I, 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 like I say, I stand on principle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I've always been like that. Man, so, you know, it's, it's, my grandma put that in me, and it ain't gonna go nowhere. No time soon. No, you, you right. You definitely right, man. Uh, <laughs> damn, why am I turning this on? Cause he got his camera. I pick mine up. I'm gonna be like low <laughs> D's in this. Oh. <laughs> Stop trying to be no, like I was you, trying to record something while I got y'all on panel so he wouldn't be the only one with it. Yeah. I asked Miss Jamaica to come out here and do me a behind the scene, but no, she didn't do it, so I got to do my own behind the scene. Well, see, I need I my bro it. Low to drop one more album. Everybody asking for that. Man. Do you know that? Like, like it was a man. dude on here the other day. Fat Pimp came on here the other Say, day. Yeah, man. just yeah. one more. One more. One more. Say, I'm going to give him one more. Just Fuck one more. We was just arguing. What was that last night? Was that last night? We were talking it was shit. Night before last. Yeah, I was telling him. I said, "Hey man, <laughs> I think I can get you. I think I can get you now." Oh, <laughs> He's on my ass. Insane. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a sensei, man, Mister Miyagi, man. <laughs> These niggas came from my goddamn Miyagi dome. You feel what nah, I'm saying? For real. They came from the dojo. Man, you this feel is, me? man. Hey, Fat Pimp said that boy got some. Nah, hey. nah, nah, for low. Hey, say I'm telling you, low hard, low hard. And he, that that that's a lot of 
where I come from about it, like he he was giving you hot shit lyrically. Like, so that that's what I stand on, like that lyrical, that lyrical, you know what I'm saying? Words. Like I'm gonna say the same shit, but it's gonna come out different to where you can understand it. And that's a lot of what Lo did. Like, uh, he gonna give you that that, that high class shit and his voice so goddamn deep. Teddy Pendergrass <laughs> of the rap game. <laughs> no face. No. You going in? What made you just? Why? Why? Why did you just stop? Uh, you wanted to focus on yellow. Well, you know what I'm saying. At the time, I was the only one handling the business, and you know what I'm saying. It was moving so fast, and everything was going like that, man. So you know, I, I just prioritized it. You know what I'm saying to where this was the this was the business at hand. So how many do you, do you and yellow got something together? Yeah, yeah. Shit, hell yeah. yeah. I got <laughs> You won't even put them out though. I got some songs with Yellow and Snooty Wild. I got some songs. I heard about it. The only reason I heard about it was through Fat Pimp. Yeah. Fat Pimp said this nigga got a whole catalog and he won't let it, let it out. I'll tell you, bro. Yeah, we, we it's coming though, man. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna be happy when you bring that whole out. Yeah, we supposed to be doing a PMG compilation, right? That'll be hard. Oh, That'll be hard. Nah, we fit to do it. Yeah, we doing that too. Nah, we fit to do that. Yeah. That's coming. Yeah. yeah. See, at the time when we was trying to do it once before a few years ago, uh, it was before Bodega was rapping fully, and it was before our, everybody that was on the label got out. We had Sir Rick, he was locked up. We had Kobe, Kobe, Young up. Kobe locked up. We had Monstro was in and out too. Yep. So you know what I'm saying? Now everybody home, so it's time. <laughs> Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. <laughs> Any genre. You say, now repeat Any it genre. You say tell him, tell him, bae. Top three dead, I mean, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Pop. Gotti. Yellow. Man. That boy say, Pop, Yo Gotti, Yellow. And Yellow. Yes, sir. That nigga top three, y'all. Yeah, Scooter Mac, just... Yeah. Dropped it like that. Just you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Why, why, how does, I, why, I ain't gonna say Pac, but why, uh, why, why Yo Gotti? Because I come from that background. What did you, you spit? The hustle. The way he hustled. The way he went out there and get it. I come from that. And yellow, what? I don't even have to ask you about yellow. Hell, you seen him from knee high from a grass. Man, huh? LeBro, you know what I'm saying? Say, no, nah, though. LeBro make hits, good music. You gotta listen to his albums. You probably hear everything. Some stuff we don't even get to hear, nigga. I don't want to talk. I do. You. I'm upset <laughs> like hell, nigga. Yes, yeah, sir. So <laughs> <laughs> the dudes and the dudes. Yeah, yeah. That, that Bodega album, that defamation of the character, that bitch fire as fuck too. But yes, sir. That goddamn New Yellow album, fire as fuck too, man. Yes, yeah. sir. How did you like? How did you like that? Uh, uh, that, that 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 he had that PMC on there. He had that uh, uh, badass yellow boy. My favorite is uh, football dream. That's the favorite one for yes, you? Yes, sir. Ziggy made it. Ziggy made that beat. Mm -hmm. Man, listen to that song. That will go in. Man. Yeah, yeah. Say, man. Yeah. I used to play football. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What position? Cornerback. Oh, you Oh, you Deion Sanders around this hole. That nigga Scooter Mac was hard. Scooter Mac was hard. Hey, you used to play or you didn't play? Yeah, I played football and baseball. What position you play? I play outside linebacker. And I play left field. Outside linebacker, you was there. You stuffing them niggas back in there like that? Oh yeah, I was strong. All the niggas play sports up low. I just played. Goddamn me. You played the women low. I know. Yeah, I, I played, played them too. <laughs> but I played, <laughs> <laughs> but I play, you too? I, I was, nah, watch yourself, son. I'm married. I don't do none of that. Nah, stuff. I said you. I'm not talking about you. You, Scooter <laughs> Mac. Yeah, don't do Hold that. On, my wife. Nah, okay. Don't, don't, don't put me out there, Hold nigga. On. Don't, put, don't put me out there. I ain't know Say. nothing about none Say. of that. Say. Check Say. it, man. It's Say. been Say. another great Say. segment of Ball Talk Say. 101. <laughs> Scooter Mac, you said it right. Yeah. My wife back there. Okay. Before I met my wife. Yeah, I was a fool. I nigga Scooter Mac. Yeah, I was a fool. Yeah. Change your life, nigga. Yes, sir. Already. And what about you? Let's talk about you. You single or what's up? 
Nah, I got, out there. Little, I got a little something, something going okay, on. Okay, okay. I'm know. just saying, you know, you know, the city I come from the old school. You know, my granny always said, you know, say, your yeah, business ain't show business. Your yeah. business ain't show business. Straight up. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> say, granny put him on okay. <laughs> <That's> always. <laughs> grandma go put, hey, grandma's in, man. You, you That boy, uh, Jamie Foxx, always be saying that grandma's in, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She, That's all I saw. Bill game. Withers. Huh? Bill Withers. Yeah, that boy bad. Yeah. I liked him. It, but Jamie rocked it though when he be jamming. No, nah, for sure. He be jamming that thing. Man. Shout, out, shout out to Terrell, Texas, man. Jamie Foxx, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, that's one of them guys, man. So what's, what can we look for uh, uh, next after this project from Jose? Who coming next? A bunch of videos, man. A bunch of videos? Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. finna be, y'all finna show <laughs> out. Me and Yellow got a uh, a single that's gonna drop a little bit after the album drop, too. Okay. It's a record called No Cap. It's gonna be real hot. Who gonna go in? Oh, yeah. I already know you gonna do your thing on there. Oh right? yeah, most definitely. Yeah, you can't you can't slide back on that. You got to come with it, nigga. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ain't I seen no, the last no one when y'all did it. You know what I'm saying? You you held your own, nigga. Oh yeah, I got to man. You know, <laughs> like I say, man. You know, when you come to my world, it's gonna always be hard. You know yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah. It's hard to sit in my world. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Check it, man. So how can people get a hold of you when they're looking for you, man, and looking for the album? Let, let me know. Uh, Damn, you got two or three cameras on it. Just talk about well, it. Well, it's going to be on all all digital platforms. You know what I'm saying? It's on all um, digital platforms like um, Apple Music, Pandora, Spotify, uh, TikTok, uh, Tidal. Uh, Deezer. Deezer. Apple Play. I mean, oh, what is it? Google, Google Play. Play. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be on pre YouTube. It's going to be on pretty much every platform. And you can always find me on Instagram, GRCXPNG, Jose Bodega. Uh, Jose Bodega on Facebook and uh, I am Jose on Twitter. It's good to Mac. What's up? So, I mean, you eat, you you know, the earth is your turf. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna come back and uh, see me again. This won't be your last visit. Oh, this ain't the last time. Don't do me like that, man. You know, you like to hide in the shadow, nigga. Nah, me and my bro had a stump down talk. Y'all did? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, you gonna come out and, and represent out. the. Oh, that nigga out. Nah, say, say we man. had that talk. All the time. Nah, man. We had that talk, bro. Say he outside. Yeah, you hear me? But this gonna be the, but this the first stop, right? You see it. Don't let this you be the last nigga. Nah. You coming back, nigga. Don't, don't, don't let this nah. be the last time I see you up in he here. He say he gonna come back by himself, nigga. He can always come yeah. back, nigga. Just pull up to call him and say, E, man. man I told I you that when me and you, you talked back to the boat. I say, you did. I call that nigga, man. You know, you I'm crazy. Did. <laughs> real talk. Man, I call that nigga. I said, nigga, what's up, say, man? Real talk. You did that, bro. That nigga duck back off on me. That nigga slick me out. <laughs> I didn't know. I should have called you, Low D's, and said, man, that nigga, I know that nigga hiding. Nah, get life just was going on. You just chilling. You weren't trying to, and plus, nigga, you know, you on the other side of the earth, but it's all good. Life. <laughs> life, say, life real. <laughs> well, man, thank y'all, man. I want to thank PMG for everything they done done yes, for sir. the city, man. Thank y'all for coming through, oh, man. Sure, y'all always welcome to come here. Y'all been coming here. So at the end of the day, we're going to always, that door is always open. You know what I'm saying? Any project coming out, he already know how to get to me. Yeah. I don't even be tripping. And nigga, sure. if he feel like he be going all the time. And you going with him? Yeah, say, ma'am. He said, start going with you. I'm to get out, sir. It's good to be on the road with us, man. I yeah. thought that nigga be at the house. Yeah, say. Man. That nigga played me, man. Yeah, he just told you that shit. <laughs> that nigga played me, man. Nigga, I'm at the barbershop. I'm doing it. What? Say, I just told I thought you. I you was like, the way he did it. It made me feel like he was retired or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, Same. we did that, but I'm I'm doing this now. No, I've always been like that, though. My, yeah, no, my, really. like my bros and them, hey, man, I'm cool. That nigga, we went to Canada, that nigga stayed at the house. You Dallas OG, my nigga. We went to, we went to, we you went to. You be, you got to say, PMG is a I whole I made sure thing. that van got them to Cali, though. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what matters. See, worked hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It take yeah, it take money to get that van to go. So you just like I'm just chilling, but they my boy, they get to it. Man, that's why was out there. That's why you got a lot of love for him. That my yeah. nigga, man, shit, man, for real, man. Say, man, a lot of times, man, some people in your life for a reason, some people in your life for a season. Yeah, man. yeah. Scooter Mac was one of them niggas that stayed around. Man, same here, bro. Man, that's so, love, man. No, and Jose, you've been holding it down, nigga, rapping and tapping, nigga. Oh, uh, yeah, for you sure. Know what <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, look, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment. Boss talk, where the bosses talk, you feel me? Boss talk 101, where the bosses talk. Nah, man, <laughs> definitely. Yes, sir. <laughs>